been a good portion of uh, high school grounded and there was some slipping out of the house and there were a couple of calls from the police. Uh, nothing real serious, but it's a college town, you know, so that means there's a little extra to get into. He was a pretty good boy. He, he got into a little mischief every now and then, but I guess he's just, you know, he, he always told his mama he had to get out and do some things so he'd have something to write about. What worked for Riley was he was just a tiny bit more fun than he was trouble. Growing up in Northeast Alabama or outside of Jacksonville, I didn't really get into video games, I guess. We did a lot of, you know, fishing and swimming, going to the lake and to the beach and stuff like that. So I always like being outside. This is almost like going back in time out here. And you know, having grandparents around close, two sets of grandparents, he had several mamas and daddies he had to worry about too, you know, so that was a good influence on him. When he was about 10, he expressed an interest in taking guitar lessons and he took lessons as long as he needed it, you know, until he could just play whatever he wanted without any help. In high schools, when he started, he what he calls making up songs. <laughs> And he doesn't say writing songs, he says making up songs. We're live on the radio on 94.9 The Bull with Riley Drew. Tell us about yourself. You're actually a singer-songwriter. It, it sounds cool when you say it like that, but I, I made up the songs that I you know, wrote early on just because I got tired of playing the stuff that I already knew. He's always made up songs. But then you know, he started writing songs, and then the, the kids around, the college students and all, they liked them, so he kept doing it. Well, I was like